Hi everyone, this is Tal again with another Doxy tutorial to share with you. Now today I wanted to talk about Doxy styling. And specifically we're going to jump into base style and custom style. Now let's go to the deployment that we deployed on the last video, which was with one line of code. Now you can come here and you can make changes if you want the search or whatever changes you want for these basic features, but we can go take a deep dive into the stylization and design it in the way that we want. Now, of course, we're going to need this little strip of code right here. We're going to slap it onto HTML. And this is actually two pieces of code. This is the JavaScript and a link to the actual stylization, the general stylization. But if you want to, which is right here, by the way. So this is what it looks like right now with this line of code. It's already deployed onto the live server. Now, if you want to create your own stylization, the first step is to check out base style. Now, this is an example of a base style, which I'm going to paste right in and I'll show you why. But of course, come here and you can read it at help.doxy.io. And specifically, what you need to do is go to Doxy Styling Guide, press that, and then go to Base Style for the first step. And if you scroll down, you can see, read all about more in-depth features that we have in terms of altering the styling guide to match your brand's look and feel. But specifically, I just pasted this right here and I'm going to show you why right now. Now you see these dots right here, they're connected to these aspects of the styling guide, the navigation bar, which you can add customized, the articles, which you can also add and another navigation bar as well. Now, the thing about this is you can completely change this to match your company's and your own website navigation bar, you just paste it on right here. This is just an example. Now in this specific example, I would, don't want to use this right now because I want to show you how we can customize the actual Doxy portal itself. And in order to do so, jump on to custom styles. Now here are the examples of the various variables and custom styles, which you can add to the Doxy portal. And basically you can do so by using this and this and then plugging them right in. So it's as simple as typing in style. Oops, yeah, VS Code does that sometimes. And then root. And that's it. Now we can plug in whatever code we want. I have already saved what I wanted. So let me just paste that in. Actually, I've actually pasted the whole thing by accident. Give me a second, please. There we go. So I want it to look like this. And of course, this is HTML, so it could be quite finicky at times. Please make sure that you have everything written correctly and then your code will indeed work. Now, these are the changes that I've done so far. As you can see, I've changed the font because if I put it to the old font, it will look like this. And I've changed a few things with the family head, family mono, and a few other things here and there. But let's say I want to change this color. I don't really like this light blue for whatever reason so if you go to style uh, custom style and you scroll down you'll find this and this will tell you a range of the different colors that you can use let's say for some reason i want it to be purple so i'll change this primary hue to 300 now let's go back to my page and it's purple and you can come here and you can customize it in any way that you decide so let's say I want to add a few more things. 
So yeah, let's say I want to change the background. So paste this in here. And it's currently white, as you can see. But let's say I'm just absolutely insane. And for whatever reason, I want it to be dark. Crazy dark color. Well, that's obviously not going to work. So let's play around until I find something that I do like. Nah, don't like that either. Let's see here. This looks a bit better, but it's not quite there yet. So as you can see, you can play with Doxy's coloring until you find what matches your brand's look and feel. And absolutely everything is customizable. Even this white border, you can customize. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Come here, play around with all the features, all the different colors. Also remember that when you deploy, you can add search, you can take it off, see what you like, see how you want it to fit your brand's look and feel and how you feel that it would be good on your page. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you come around Play with Doxy's features a bit more, have fun, and most importantly, have a nice day. On the next video, I will show you how to customize your online Doxy knowledge portal. It's done a little bit differently than using the embedded script. So basically, we're going to jump into how to add a customized script here with your knowledge portal that is connected to Doxy's online cloud. See you there.